dreams of many youngsters who want to become pilots is going to take flight in northeast for the first time as redbird aviation has started northeast india's first ever pilot training facility this flight training academy is coming up at the leelabari airport in lakhimpur district of assam joining us is captain karan of redbird aviation india uh well redbird flying training academy is now india's largest flying training academy and uh, you know if uh, since you've been also flying on commercial flights uh, there are eight states in uh, northeast india but uh, you know amongst the leading airlines in india there is not even a total of eight pilots from northeast india usually there is a lot of cabin crew air hostesses that you see that uh, which are from northeast india but very very rarely would you hear a, a announcement from the cockpit that this is your captain speaking and uh, that captain happens to be from northeast india so in order to bring uh, northeast india at par with the rest of the country we've started this uh, uh, academy over here with the state of the art aircrafts you know the aircrafts are uh, very very modern and uh, the uh, we plan to increase the number of aircrafts as we are inaugurating today with two aircrafts and by the month of uh, may we should have two more aircrafts here uh, and we finally would be training uh, more than 100 pilots annually from here from this particular base so more than 100 pilots annually you know aviation sector in the country did see setback due to the two years of pandemic and it's opening up new airlines are uh, you know coming up how do you see the prospects of this uh, academy here and for youngsters of this region who really want to pursue uh, their dream in uh, of becoming pilots so um, i've been in the army and my belief is that the op- if if given the opportunity the people from the northeast are as good if not better than the rest of the uh, cadets that we train um our belief is and we not just our belief it has been well researched that there is huge opportunity for aviation to grow particularly in india where there is a very limited connectivity in a lot of part a lot of states in the country so that's number one there is a huge opportunity new airlines are coming up we have tatas which has just been privatized which we we think is going to grow in a very big way therefore there'll be a huge demand for pilots and every other part of the uh, country like karan said has a opportunity of training pilots but people from north east were not getting this opportunity our belief is we will get a huge uh, uh, amount of pilots from here we'll be able to train them and put them into the national mainstream for aviation also the fact that you know guwahati has become hub of at least two to three aircrafts already of two three airlines dibrugarh is becoming another hub so do you think that in that way also it's going to help given the file pilot if you have a pilots from the same base yes i think economically also it works better for airlines to have bases and have local pilots there which helps the local economy it helps the local people get trained gets a, the, for the airline it's advantage of having people who speak the local language and there's a i think for everybody it's a win win situation for everybody it is a win win situation we'd like to first interact with the students who are already enrolled in redbird we have uh, students from northeast as well you are from uh, this region what's your name uh, so my name is neha gogoi and i'm from a small city here that is that is in sukhia and it's 3 hours far from this place actually i started my journey in aviation in 2019 in another flying school but after knowing that redbird has started its new base in our assam in a, in northeast this is the first flying club here and it's a great opportunity that now i can fly in my hometown near my hometown and i am grateful that today yesterday only i got a got a sortie in the morning and it is amazing how everyone is training me here the instructors are hard working our cfi sir our ci sir and everyone here afi sir everyone is real, really cooperating with us it's a great experience here i would really suggest the northeasterns and from people students especially the cadets from all around uh, india to come and join redbird and to be a part of redbird also there are pilot uh, cadet pilots who are not from northeast but have chosen this uh, there are people from you are from here or you have chosen this i am from delhi you are from delhi but yeah. you have uh, ch- uh, chosen to be uh, trained here see i was doing my training in baramati maharashtra then when i got to know that red bird is coming in northeast then i changed my mind and i <coughs> came here for my further training okay so there you are you can see lot of exciting faces here i uh, would like to talk to you uh, your captain uh, sarthak yes sir so you're a t- trainer here uh, yes sir 
I'm an under trainee assistant flight instructor here in Redbird. And how do you find this terrain here? Because it's a, a valley surrounded by hills. Uh, this is, uh, you know, people say that it is a difficult terrain to fly otherwise. So for training uh, uh, pilots, cadet pilots, uh, how tough it is and what kind of aircraft you're using? So I'll say it's a different experience. Anything you do start anywhere, there are certain plus points, there are certain negative points. Plus point to this, this will be a controlled aerodrome. So you learn controlled RT, RT communication with the ATC controllers. There are there are Doppler uh, viewers here as well. So these all these things will add on to your training. As and at the end, the end result will be an even better pilot. So terrain like, we'll overcome. We have we are like the ter the terrain is to the northern part. So we are focusing mainly on the uh, sector south. So there'll be uh, we'll be doing majority of flying there. So we would like to also speak to some of the senior instructors here uh, from Redbird. We have uh, uh, one of the senior instructors, uh, you know, tell us about the aircraft particularly that you're using for training here and uh, how different is this, uh, you know, uh, area in terms of uh, when you are taking out the sorties or how good it is in terms of for the cadet pilot as well to train in, in a valley as, which is closer to hills. Uh, so we are using P2008 uh, JC and uh, Technam P2060. So these are very modern aircrafts with uh, all the instruments here. And uh, talking about the terrain here, it is a little challenging, but uh, students learn from different different challenges, and they will learn a lot of from, from here. Plus, it's an controlled airfield, so that the students will learn a lot about. Here. Also, you know, perhaps uh, the weather conditions in Northeast is something that uh, perhaps gives a great opportunity to uh, trainers as well as pilot to get accustomed to different weather conditions. Uh, is this location in that way very helpful? So we have a challenging weather scenario over here, but uh, it is good as well for the students to train. You know, once they join into the airline, they'll help. They'll have the all weather experience uh, scenario in their hand. So they have flown in nil winds they have flown in you know strong winds they have flown in a uh, little bit of rain so that accumulates to bring a good pilot into the aviation field so that is the reason though it's a challenging air field uh, i agree to it but this is the challenge we have to accept and we have to work hard on, hard on it to you know make a better pilot for the future aviation so there you are the instructors the pilots everybody here are very excited this is northeast india's first ever pilot training academy that has been set up here at the Lilabari airport in Lakhimpur district and with Northeast getting better connectivity soon commercial aircrafts in India will have pilots from this region. <laughs> I will try to film here by the pool.